language models kind of break, see the world in, in terms of tokens, which is kind of like the minimum unit of text you could put in a language model to get it to get to predict the next token. It might not be a whole word. It might be like a comma. It might be even a space. It might just be the word the. But essentially, these models, what they do is they take in these tokens and they take into account the position of all the tokens in the input and they, they use all the information they're given to predict the next token, which is why they're so powerful. When we talk about temperature, uh, we're talking about basically this probability distribution that the model is using to predict. Essentially, there's this concept of, I could pick the most likely next token or I could not. So temperature is one of the many tools you have to kind of change how these models are using the probability distribution to pick the next token. Um, when it comes to RAG, unfortunately, the answer is it depends. In I feel like most of the chat, your data scenarios I have personally seen, people want facts. You want to kind of go with where the probability distribution is pushing right. you. If you're looking for a more creative response where it's like, oh, I want you to like rephrase how this document says this, high, uh, lower temperature or sorry, higher temperatures might be a better choice. Uh, it all depends on how this probability distribution you, you kind of uh, it's really something you have to play with to get a sense of how it works for your particular data.